Hello everyone and welcome to Project Cardboard and today is a little bit special because I'm making another time lapse and this time lapse I noticed that in my last video you guys really enjoyed my time lapse so I was thinking that I'd do that again I'm not so good at time lapses but you know I just speed up the clips and do the best I can and of course this is the Chevy Impala build the other part of it so I'm trying to chassis in the like you see in the image above there in the upper left. Um, that is what I'm trying to build today, and I've never done something like this before. I'm usually making car bodies or something like that. I never go in to do the detailed the chassis work. I rarely ever do that, and that's a nice challenge for me, so I can get my cardboard skill set, I suppose, up and get it higher and you know get more skills. So. That is what I'm doing right now. So I'm making the wheels. Uh, in the beginning, I was originally thinking to use the wheels that I made previously for the last Chevy build. But I thought that I'll just start all new and make new wheels and just have a new looking car. Because I love the Chevy and I want to have a new one, I suppose. So I started by cutting out some circles and a compass. This is where a compass comes in really, really useful because in the past I would take, a, I don't know, I take like a round thing and just like cut around it and try to do that, but like a lid of a bottle or something, but they're rarely the right size. So a compass, if you're going to get into cardboard making and crafting, then a compass is a must have because I use it for a lot of stuff and you can make a whole bunch of circles all the same size. So then I started to make the tires. What I did was I cut out some strips of cardboard in different thicknesses. One would be wider and that would be the first one I'd wrap around it. Then another one on top of that to make a kind of a gradient of shape. I don't know how to say it. But like a, the tire shape. So it's like a little rounded, not just a... Just a disc I suppose so I cut out a few of those strips it was pretty easy to do I didn't really like making the tires for some reason but it was okay I cut out the strips and I made a few of them two for each tire I was going to do the rear ones later the first I just thought that I'd experiment with two tires then I could go on to make the other ones if this goes well so I took some of the round circles and what I did was I rolled another, I cut out a strip of cardboard and put it in between each circle, each disc, and just sandwiched it together. And that is what the rim was. And then I wrapped the strips around it to make the tire, which you will see presently. So I got the dimensions of the last wheel because this model that I'm making now is the same dimensions as the last one that I made. So I just took the dimensions of the last Chevy I made and replicated them for this one, for this new build. Then I began to wrap it around the rim, like you can see now, I just put glue on it and kept doing that. But the problem with that is it doesn't come out exactly symmetrical. And you'll see what I mean once, the ti once I put the tires and you get to see the finished tires, it just isn't exactly symmetrical like that. You can see that the rim and the tire don't quite line up. And that's the little problem about wrapping it with the strips of cardboard. It just doesn't come out exactly symmetrical and the thickness all the same on all sides, which is obviously what we want. So that's the only problem that I had in making this tire. Then 
then I do, then I further detailed the rims of it, and I cut out another strip of cardboard, another um, circle, put it in there, and then I cut as many strips and glued it around that to make like a many-sided star. And I made that, and those are the front wheels. I was actually pretty happy with them. Then I had to start with the back tires, and I just repeated the the process for the rear ones, and that's what I'm doing right now. I cut the strips, wrapped them around the rims, and made two more tires. Then I test fitted them onto the thing, and I'm very sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm usually out of frame, I don't know why I have to get better at that. But I glue started to glue them onto the chassis, I cut holes in the wheels to stick the spokes into it and I glued them right onto the chassis. And at this point, I was pumped. I was really happy with how the chassis is looking out, and I am happy with how the chassis is turning out. But the real challenge starts when we try to put the body on it. So once we make the body, we have to fit it onto the chassis, and that is what I do not know how I will do. But I think we'll be able to do it, because I have done a Chevy build in the past. So I think I have a good, pretty good idea on what to do. Then I further detailed the front axle and the suspension um, assembly on the front of the car. I just rolled up some paper, cut some strips, and tried to all the reference pictures as best I could. And I just detailed that. And it looks nice, even though I'm not going to see any, any of this once we put on the body panel. Once we put on the body panel, it's going to cover up all of this work we've been doing, except for the wheels, of course. And that is... A little odd, but it's nice that you get to have a realistic model, and it's realistic to the T, at least as best you can get it to the T. And that's what our goal is here, to make as detailed as we can. So I kept on detailing the front assembly for the suspension. And I just glued on strips, like I said before, and tried to do my best at it. I was cut out with scissors. And then I just kept going, looking all around the car, looking back at the reference images at, from different angles. And then I saw that there was these like rivet holes in the side, in the middle of the chassis, in the middle. So I just took a knife and I squared that and then I took a pencil to even round that out even more. And I just put some rivets, some simple holes in the side to, to replicate the rivets as best as I could for that side part. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be coming up with another video about this build. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.